Hello, Simon here. Welcome back to my workshop. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on my bandsaw, the Record Power Sabre 350. I've had this bandsaw for about a year and I thought it was about time I shared with you my thoughts on the saw so you can think of this as a one year review. Let's start with a few specifications. So it's a 14 inch wheel on the bandsaw. The wheels are cast iron, they're big heavy things, which is really good for a bandsaw, means you get lots of momentum. The motor is a 1500 watt motor with an output of 1100 watts. Now in old money, that's an output of one and a half horsepower. So it's pretty beefy. It can cut at its very absolute maximum, 11 and a half inches. And the throat, is 13 and a half inches. The bed itself is cast iron. It's 15 and three quarter inches deep by about 21 inches across. The bed itself tilts. I've only used the tilt mechanism a couple of times, but it works really well. It resets back to zero really well. There's nothing really not to like about it. This isn't a budget machine but its features also reflect that. For instance, here you can see the fence isn't aligned to the mitre. I can very simply turn it and there we go, tighten it off. It's now in line with the mitre. It is that simple. None of the adjustments that you can do to the bandsaw require any tools. It's been really well thought through and well designed. And as a result, it only takes a few seconds to change blades, adjust blade guides, etc. It's a real joy to use. You don't have to fiddle around with Allen keys or screwdrivers or anything like that. Just use your fingers and your hands. A lot of thought has gone into the design of this machine. For instance, the little catches that hold the access panels on are completely novel. It must have taken quite a lot of time to design. They are so easy to use. You literally turn the knob about 45 degrees and the thing opens. And when you close it, there's a reassuring click as it registers in place and is locked. Now, I don't think any other machine has this sort of access panel opening mechanism. And it is really nice. It seemed a bit weird when I was assembling it, but in use, it is just lovely. I bought the optional wheel kit and it is very strong and it provides a stable base, but it does prevent the cabinet door at the bottom from opening fully. So this is something that the design could address in a later model. And in a small workshop with limited space, the wheel kit can be quite difficult to use. It's definitely very difficult to position exactly where you want it. Round the back, we have a lot of controls, but they're all easy to access. So this one here adjusts the blade height. This one here just locks the blade height in place. It's very easy to access this from the front of the saw. This one is the tr tracking control when it's locking nuts. And then this one is the blade tensioner. You can see the level of detail they've gone into, even the Allen keys, which are used to assemble the bandsaw, have a holder. Now I've never needed to use any of these Allen keys since I assembled it, but they're there and I know where they are, and that's quite a nice feature. They even provided a place on the left-hand side to hang your push stick. The fence is really easy to use and it stays true, but even if it didn't stay true, adjusting it, as we've already seen, is a doddle. You can move the fence so that it's upright. And when you do that, you sometimes need to adjust it. I don't need to adjust it at all in this occasion, it's perfect. But again, it's so easy to adjust. You know, it's, it's not something you have to worry about. It's just such a nice adjustment on this. It does come with a ripping bar as well, which goes in here. 
which I've never used. The largest material that I've cut with it is about the, was about the height of this fence, about five inches, and it cut through it like it wasn't there. That was a piece of mahogany. When I compare this to similar sized machines at the men's shed, there's really night and day difference between them. This is a very powerful machine. It cuts like a hot knife through butter, through all woods. I've never really had to put any pressure on any piece that I've cut. It's almost scary how sharp and how easy it cuts through wood. The dust collection on it isn't ideal. It relies on the dust just falling down here and entering the cabinet where the dust port is down here. I think if the dust port had been up here, which might have been a bit tricky to install, or if they had the dust port up right underneath the bandsaw like I've got on my little benchtop bandsaw, and that would have made a massive difference. This knob here allows you to remove the tension on the belt and change it from the big belt to the small belt to give you two speeds. I've never done that, I've only ever used it on the fast speed, but it's very easy to do because you've got, again, a big knob that allows you to change it really quickly. There are brushes here and here to sweep the blade and keep any debris off of it. Machine has three windows, one here, and here, which you can use to inspect the tracking of the blade, and one here that is used to read the blade tension meter. The stainless steel fence rail has engraved graduations in inches and in millimeters, and there's a little gap in the middle where the kerf of the blade is, so it measures from the blade to the right, and also from the blade to the left, which is a nice feature. As I said at the start, this isn't a cheap machine. It's 1,200 pounds at the moment. It is made in England, in Sheffield, and it does have a five year guarantee. But don't be fooled, the cheaper 14 inch machines aren't in the same league as this machine. I can say without any hesitation that I recommend it. And I just want to be clear, Record Power haven't asked me to make this video. I'm not receiving any money from them to make this video. This is just my view of a machine that I purchased out of my own money a year ago, having used it for a year, just how good a machine it is. It is a fantastic tool. If you have any questions about this machine, anything I've not covered, then I'm happy to answer questions. So just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.